Hi my wonderful friends, viewers and everyone. Welcome to I Love Coding. So what we're going to be creating out here in this video is this simple web app. So when you click on this, London is shown. Click on this, Paris is shown. This is like in Tokyo. And I've got like a real surprise for you that this thing is responsive. See, it's like, it's like fits in for any kind of mobile device it's or any size. You can like go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down and it works. So that's what it is. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video and see how we make this. So let's start by creating a folder in our desktop. So we'll go, we'll create a folder and we'll call this toggle tab. And I'll open it with code, with Visual Studio code. So we'll open it. So what I'm first gonna do is I'll create a HTML file. So call it index.html It's blank Use emit abbreviation so, And then I'll title this page as Toggle Toggle tab Okay, now what are the first things? The first are the buttons on the top which we saw So we'll go ahead and create a div id of tab And inside that tab we create button With an id of tab link Tab links. Now each of them, when you click on them, I wanted to go to a function. So for that we use on click and let's call the function name as city name. City name. Yeah, you can take an event and also the city name. So for example, we'll start with London, the first one. And then we'll have London written on the top. So similarly, we'll have it for two more. We'll start we'll have Paris and Tokyo. These are the buttons on the top. Now next is the content that we have in the bottom. So for that we'll do a class. Here. For class we use dot. Then we'll do tab content. Okay. And for the first one, since so we'll give it an ID of the city name. So we'll give it London. So we'll start with the title for the, for the content. We'll say H3. Then we'll give it London. Here in paragraph we say London is the capital city of England. So London city of England. Similarly we'll do it for Paris and Tokyo. So we'll do Paris. So it's easier to think because it's like holding onto the wall. And so Paris. Is the capital city of France. Yeah. And we go to Tokyo. And it's the capital city of Japan. The rising sun. Yeah. I really like Japan also. Like, I'm into manga. So I'll be really like that culture. Okay, now that's what. This is the HTML page. Now we'll go ahead and we'll open it with live server to see how it looks. Here you go. Just simple button on the top, you have the info out here, that's it. pretty simple. Now let's go on to the CSS file. Hello. Style of CSS. Let's simple it up. Okay. We have to link it. Let's link it. CSS file. Now CSS file is linked. So first we'll start with the tab, we'll do class tab. I made a mistake there, it was supposed to be class, it's an easy to ID, sorry about that. So, so first, what we'll do is, we will make sure that there is no overflow of the text. So we'll do overflow to be hidden. So there's like, it doesn't like go out of the screen of flaps and all that. So that's what we wanted to do actually. So even if you keep it at any size, it's like responsive almost there. So that's what we wanted to happen. So that's what overflow hidden does. Next, we will go on to doing the background color and the text color. So first, we will start with the border. The border. We will keep it one pixel and solid. So and I found this like a bit of a variant of gray, which is like lightish of that. So hashtag CCC. And next, we will go to the background color. And this is a variant of white, F1. So once you save it, you, you get that effect in the border back there. So if you like put it responsive, 
it does not go oh, it's less, it does not like go until the end so you have to scroll so that's what overflow hidden does we don't want that to happen we want it to be visible on all devices next what we'll do is we'll go on to styling these buttons the london paris and fifty ones so we'll do dot tap button so first we'll start with the background color we want it to like merge with the background of the full tab so we'll do background color of inherit like look at it it like merges with the background there's not much of a difference now we are done with the background we want the text to be staying on the left so we do float left so that we can stay on the left now when you look at it there's a bit of the background and the outline and all of it so we don't want that to happen so what we'll do is we'll do border and we'll keep it none and the same goes for outline so we'll do outline none so this makes it look much better out here so that's what we wanted to do so now what we want is we want the cursor to change to pointer when you hover over it so we'll do cursor pointer that's also there so when you like go over there change to pointer that makes it look much better there and then we'll do padding we'll give it a padding like of the top of top and bottom of 14 pixels and left and right of 16 pixels so that gives it some gap in the bottoms and the sides so there's like much space and all left and the next is we will do a transition so there's like a three second gap when you like move from one button to another or there's some changes in the button and all of that so next what we want is when you hover over the button we want some colors to be changed so what we'll do is we'll do tab button and hover out here we'll do the background color we want it to be a different shade from the usual one so we'll do ddd so this is a bit darker than the ccc so when you like go over it see you see there's a slight dark effect there actually i think the transition is taking too long so we'll put it at 0.3 very much faster yep yep yeah, yeah that's, that's beautiful there's a transition there so now next is when, we, when the button is active like when it's on when you click on the button there should be a color shown so that's what we're going to be doing so when it's like active so background color I was thinking we'll like give it a gray so it's like prominently shown that this is active so let's say you go and click on it it'll be there so when you click on it that's like gray this is a gray see that's that's what it is that's what active does so when you click on it it makes it gray now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at the tab content tab content okay now first we'll start with the padding so padding uh, like six pixels on the top and the bottom and 12 pixels on the sides and next we'll go to the border it's we we'll do the same here we'll keep it one pixel solid this time ccc and we don't want any border on the top so we'll do border top of none so you save it and you look at it so you see there's like different is padding in the borders and all of it present but we want only to be shown when you click on the certain so for now we put the display to be now so everything is vanished okay now we'll jump to the javascript part so now we have the javascript so first we'll create the file so let's put the js We we'll link it to the HTML file, so we call it script src and script.js. We we'll link it. Now the JavaScript is pretty simple to do. We just have to keep in mind what we're doing. We have to do the on-click function. So we we'll grab this function and copy it. We don't want any spelling errors. The thing we'll be doing is this. We'll change this to like city n, the name for a city. You have to keep in mind that you have to start with a function in JavaScript. So function C. Okay, that's how it starts. First, we'll go ahead and create variables. So one is i, and the other is tab content. What do you have to keep in mind is I need the content from here. This is the content that we're going to be working. So for that, we'll do tab content is equal to document dot get element by id because the id now the class of here is not done. So we have the get element by class name. So class name and that will be tab content. Okay. That's done. 
Now I'll show it to you what's there in the tab content actually so that you like get it. So I'll do console.log. Console.log is the JavaScript way of displaying it. So tab content. Be shown in the console in the so we'll run it. So let's put it, let's get the console out and let's click on it. You see this is what you get from the console. You have the div, which is London and a tab content. For London you have all the information that you need. And out here you have that London is the capital city of England. So that's the content that we want, this in HTML. So we'll be accessing that and the same goes for Paris. We go to the inner HTML out here, you see Paris is inner text is this. So that's what it's easy to access that, you'll see it. We'll be using a for loop and we'll access it. So let's go in here. We'll remove it for now. Then we'll go to the for loop. The variable that we declared there, the i, we use it, i, it should be less than tab content of length. We want, the length is given there from 3. And then it should be i plus plus. We want to increment it. Okay. Now, what we want is that whenever you click on it, see, you get the content of London. The next time the London content should be gone and Paris content should be shown. So for that what we do is tab content tab content of i dot style dot display. So that's the style that we would want it is equal to and it should be in quotes. None remember that it should be in quotes. So whenever you click on it, what happens is one content is shown and then that content is removed and the next content comes in. That's how it works. So London first, then you click on Paris. The London con content should be removed, it should not be shown to you. Now what content should be shown? The content of the city. So we've got the city name in the, as the ID out here. So we've got to use dot get element by ID. So we we'll do document dot get element by ID. We we'll do city name and for that the style of that dot display should be a block so that it's like shown to you. Let's click on it. Let's see how it works. So you click on London, the content is shown. So that's what the block does. And next, you click on Paris. The London content is removed and the Paris is shown. Into. So this is like useful for people to work on the websites and keep it going. So when you, even it's, it's even responsive. So that's another plus of it. Mainly because you have used that overflow hidden. So that's one of the main reasons why it's working like this. So it's pretty easy to make. Just three simple files and a lot of a bit of coding. It's just a few lines here and there. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. And if you did, do give a like. And if you want to share something that will like help me out in making much better videos in the future, I'll be happy to take it. So any comments, be positive or negative, I welcome. If you haven't subscribed till now, don't forget, you've got to subscribe, okay? Because there are a lot of content coming up. Thanks a lot.